iPhone just added the ability to record video with Apple ProRes for the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Max. This came out with iOS 15.1. You do have to activate it though, and I wanted to make this video to go in a little bit more detail about what ProRes is and why you may want to use it too. First, let's go ahead and activate it. It's in the settings app of your phone here. And let me scroll down. It's under the camera menu right over here where it says camera. Let's jump in here. And the formats, if you select that page, you will see Apple ProRes. Now, Apple Pro Raw, this is a photo format for shooting raw photos. This is not what we need here. We need Apple ProRes, which is designed for video. So we need to activate it first here, and then we could activate some of our other settings for just our record video format. So we could jump in here, and there's a bunch of different options available, all the way till 4K at 60 frames. If you want the most frames and the smoothest looking video, this is the option for you. If you want a more cinematic look out of your video, 4K at 24 frames is the option for you. And in some cases, you are going to be limited to 1080 at 30 frames. And that is if your iPhone has less storage, meaning you don't have the 256 gig phone and you have the 128 gig phone. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the camera app now that we have this activated and we need to go to video right here. Cinematic video doesn't have this option, by the way. This is only available under the regular video. Cinematic video is locked at 1080 at 30 frames. But ProRes becomes available under video. First, you could change any of the settings. So your frame rates are 24, 30, and 60. So turn those on. I'm gonna leave mine at 24. Your resolution are 1080, which is HD, or 4K. Those have been there the whole time. But now you get ProRes on this side. Press it, and it's gonna say, ProRes is activated. You get this new icon over here. It says max time, 12 minutes. That's all I get of recording on this phone right here because I only got about 100 gigs left. Let me go back in the menu because I want to show you actually the settings that this tells you more about. ProRes is the most popular format for video production, post-production. A minute of ProRes at 4K is 6 gigabytes per per minute, okay? So if I go back here, that's why this is only giving me 12 minutes. If I do change it though, I can't even do 4K at 60 frames. That's not supported. And I can change it to 1080 though, turn on ProRes, and now I get 43 minutes, okay? So I get much more time out of this video. Now I have a camera here that records 6K and 4K and it records in a RAW format. So just to understand what this ProRes is doing, basically every time you record a video with any camera, most cameras, video professional video cameras do this too. They compress the video with a compression so the video is smaller in size. And in that compression, it loses some quality. ProRes is a format that applies the least amount of compression here now available on your iPhone. So it's a lot bigger of a video file, but a lot less compressed. It's still compressed to some degree. This camera actually, this Blackmagic camera, records raw. It's not compressed at all, but the file size are massive. Sometimes I shoot a terabyte per hour or even more using one of these cameras, a terabyte of information here, okay? so. Six gigabyte of information per minute is pretty large still, right? It's a big file size, but it is still compressed with the ProRes compression. A typical video recording when you have ProRes off, what we've always had, uses the H.264 or H.265 compression, a very popular compression for video. Now I'm a professional filmmaker and I edit my videos here on the computer using Adobe products. So for the longest time I have used Apple ProRes, and there's different formats. There's ProRes, ProRes HQ, and ProRes LT. This one just gives you the regular ProRes 422 is the compression that it's applying to the video. But I did want to kind of give you a little bit of a technical overview of what it is and how to turn it on so you get a better understanding. Now, should you use ProRes? I think for most people, they won't need it. As long as you're looking at the video on your phone, 
or posting it to different social media platforms, it is not at all going to be noticeable. If you're taking the ProRes video and using an editing software to edit, you do sometimes want ProRes because it gives you less compression, so you can apply a lot more effects and color grading, and it's a more professional end result. For most people though, it is not necessary, but for professional filmmakers, it might be a very cool option that they may use from time to time. So I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.